The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dream. That's why I'm bringing to you loads of beauty today at Mr. Universe 2019 audition, where we get to talk to a lot of fashion icons, meet a lot of guys, the contestants, and the one who could not make it to the finals, and also get to see a lot of things and learn a lot of things. So stick to me at cameraboy.tv, and I'm a BK Olawani. Let's get into it. So what do you think? Do you think you have the qualities of being Mr. Universe 2019? Of course I do. <laughs> Let him know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm confident. Okay. Yeah, and um, I can face the crowd. Okay. And I'm tall enough. Okay, how you doing? I'm fine, thank you. How First, you I'm fine. First, I would like to say congratulations to you, and you're one of the shortlisted contestants. How do you feel right now? Very well. Oh, I was tensed before, like. You are still tensed. <laughs> Well, I'm fine right now. I'm okay You're now. Fine. Yeah. So how had it been going from the first to the second? How did you feel about it? It went well. Everything went well. What I was expecting, it didn't come. So I'm happy. I thought they were going to ask me different questions, but I just walked oh. through and they were all like, yes, 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 yes. So okay. I'm happy, yeah. So you were feeling type of negative before and you got some... Somehow, because when I came, I saw so many guys that are bigger than me and all that. So I felt that maybe... You well, feel intimidated? Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> okay, so before coming for Uni uh, Mr. Universe 2019 audition, what do you think are the qualities of a winner? Um, you should be disciplined. Okay. That's number one. Um, I think you should be confident too. Okay. And yeah, those things. Those, and do you think you have those qualities? Sure, sure, I do. Because we have one of the lucky shortlisted contestants here. How are you doing? I'm fine. Good afternoon. What's, good afternoon. What's your name? Bisong, John. Bisong is from Akwaiba. Cross River State. Cross River, Calabar. <laughs> so how are you doing? How has it been going this morning? Well, I just got in late, but I was scared actually if I won't be selected because I came in very late. Oh, okay. But it has been going well and fine. And you were shortlisted. That is luck and that's God's grace. I don't even want to argue with anybody. So what do you think the quality of a winner is? Hmm. Hmm. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Um, must be very handsome. Secondly, and very important, very bold and confident. Confident. And do you think you have all of that quality? Yes. I'm supposed to tell you if you're handsome. No, you tell me. Right. I'm not handsome. You not come to me. That's what I know. Okay. <laughs> We are still live here at the Mr. Universe Audition 2019 at Lekki Lagos. You know, Camera Boy got you covered on all amazing content you need to know. And we've been here since 9 a.m. 60 contestants has been shortlisted. All you have to do is to have a banging body, look good, be vibrant, and very courageous. And also, I heard the judges said, do not be cocky and do not be shy so you can get the front table. So, guys, stick with me. I've got all the rundown to give you today. Let's enjoy and have fun with all the guys. Ow. I have a very handsome guy here and one of the lucky shortlisted contestants. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What's your name? Melvin. Melvin. Is Melvin a Nigerian? Mm, nope. He's, um, he's a foreign name though, but I'm a Nigerian. You are from where? Imo State. Imo State. You, you do not sound like one, but let's get into it. How was the audition, like the fourth and second set? 
Well, it was nice, but it was also intense, though, you know, coming out there, you know, that anxiety, you know, mm -hmm. would be, but I was able to skate through. Okay. Yeah. So you had that, you had a mindset that, okay, this was going to be tough, I'm going to get it. Yeah, I had that confidence and that, you know, passion in me okay. that I'll be able to get it this year. Okay, so you were a model before coming here or you just decided to come? Yeah, I'm a model. I'm a model, though. So I came here, you know, I heard of it and um, I was able to meet up last year, but I wasn't able to, move, you know, go into it. But by this year, I know I'm going to get to the finale. So I'll be asking you what you think the qualities of a winner is. Mm, the qualities of a winner, number one, the number one priority is your, you know, your confidence mm -hmm. and your, you know, bringing out that passion in you and, okay. you know, bringing out that you shouldn't, you know, look down on others. Mm -hmm. You know, you still need to put that, you know, self-confidence in you and um, you just need to be yourself. And do you think you have those qualities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this platform is trying very hard to make sure they put the right persons on the right platforms. Okay. Because a lot of young people, everybody wants to model, everybody wants to be an actor, everybody wants to be a musician. Yeah. But the process, that's the tedious process they put these young men through. Before they finish, you see boys start saying, I think I'm going to go into fashion designing. I think I'm going to go into media. I think we we try to put them on the right path. So it's not just entertainment. It's not just boys naked because that's what a lot of people think. Yeah, that's what I think too. Exactly. So <laughs> it's way more than that. It's actually setting the gen next generation on their right path. If I knew that I would be a stylist today, I think I would not have done theater art in school. I would not have gone to school at all. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so that is what this process does. Giving them a sort of reawakening of whom and what they are because they are the future at the end of the day. Do you guys hear that? That's amazing. Let me get to know who I am talking to. Uh, my name is Tony Hart. I'm a fashion stylist and a consultant with the brand. Wow, that's amazing. My name is Wally George. I'm a, yeah, an Arab person and a talent manager also. Okay, so Mr. Santiago, you have something to say? Well, I mean, the judges have said it all. I mean, basically, <coughs> and these are people who have worked with the brand for uh, a very long time. For, for, for Mr. Universe Nigeria, uh, basically, it is uh, an empowerment platform, a discovery platform, first and foremost, that enables us to annually uh, discover young people, be able to set them on the right path, uh, be able to redirect their vision and their focus towards uh, some of the things that are important in life. I mean, there are a lot of things that we think are important, but if, by the time you have somebody mentor you and challenge you, you begin to find out that those things that you thought were important were actually not really that important. So it's basically for us to discover young people, help them to you know, refocus their vision to what is right, and also enable them not just to be able to empower themselves, but also become a force and a change ambassador for their society, their community at large. Wow, that's amazing. So I'll be asking what you think the quality of a winner is and why you've decided to shortlist at least 60 people, if I'm not mistaken, that you've shortlisted. Well, the quality of a, of a, of a winner starts by being a leader. Okay. Um, from just seeing them, you can tell who is a leader, actually. Because I heard when someone said, you look cocky. Okay, I think it was Mr. Santiago and was like, okay, you might be shy, you might just be cocky, and you might not even be cocky. So is that part of it? Exactly. You can tell. This is, these are the very little things you used to know. Okay, there is something in this person. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you know, it's a process. Yeah. And as, so that's why I say we start by knowing, okay, this is a leader first. Mm -hmm. um, it's a process. Now, for me, I don't think I can tell who's the winner. Okay. Right? <laughs> You know, because it's a, it's a gradual process, it grows. Yeah, so we are growing to the point.